Yeah. So. All right, next one is from Paul. I am 50 and I've been playing for just over a year. I've heard of rolling your wrist during forehand, but my friend noticed I was rolling my wrist during my backhand distance throws. It makes me throw with an extreme Anheuser and turn over all my discs. How can I fix this? Thanks for all you do and for the disc golf community. Simple answer. Don't roll your wrist. Hey. I was going to say, have you seen, have you hey. seen what about Bob? He says, <laughs> stop it. <laughs> Just stop it. I, at least I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Anyway. Um, okay. So yes, rolling your wrist over on backhands is absolutely a real thing. Um, and a lot of times it comes from following through to the ground kind of too hard. Um, so what I would recommend that you do is not try to follow through necessarily to the sky, but when you're pulling through to think about instead of um, kind of turning your shoulder to, to get the disc headed to the right, think about shifting your weight from back to front and keeping everything else level, right? Because the goal of throwing a, a backhand is to get your arm back on, you know, whatever angle you're trying to get it on and then match that angle all the way through the throw. So if you're throwing a flat shot, you want to get the disc back flat, get it into your power pocket flat and then follow through flat. If maybe even slightly up. Um, so work on, shifting that weight forward instead of kind of using your shoulder to torque it over. Um, twerk yeah. It. And then yeah, it, to, to twerk it over. Perfect. That's, that's what I meant to say. Most people don't use their shoulders for that, but it's whatever. <laughs> They're doing it wrong. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All the, all the ladies in the club are doing it wrong. You can all tell those, I've been to lots of clubs. All those ladies on TikTok are doing it so wrong. Yeah, <laughs> that's correct. Um, There's a lot that goes wrong on TikTok. <laughs> you're not wrong. Yeah. About it. <laughs> that's, that's fair. Uh, but yeah, just making sure that those angles align with one another, that's going to help prevent you turning over the disc so strongly. Um, and you might even work on just letting it go on an extreme hyzer angle, not to keep throwing the way that you are so that gets it to flat, but overcorrect. And then you can kind of come back to the middle and, and learn from there. But matching the angles, that's the key. 